In August of 2014, that morning started like most other mornings. I felt a little tired and decided that I was going to take a nap. Tank, my dog, she did everything she could to get me to stand up. At that point, I walked into the great room of the house. My wife, she walked in the door and she said, you look horrible, what's wrong? And the cardiologist comes in and he says, what's going on in your life? And I said, I can't hear you. Your lips are moving, but I can't hear what's coming out of your mouth. And at that point, they watched it occur right there on the EKG. Three days later, I was home. They gave me a lot of drugs. Blood thinners, lisinopril, I was on metropol, brillanta, statins. I was just in a fog. I had a two-week follow-up appointment. And he came out to shake my hand and he said, how do you feel? And I said, I feel awful. My joints hurt, my stomach's upset, I feel like I'm gonna vomit, and uh, my eyesight isn't clear. And he said, this is how it's gonna be now, this is how you're gonna feel. This all came to light at the same time that my wife had a new job that was gonna begin in Switzerland, and we were gonna pack up and go. I had to get a new cardiologist so that I could have prescriptions filled. The first gentleman I had, he said to me that these drugs are very strong, that aren't these a problem for you? He said they wouldn't have prescribed that if I had been in Switzerland when this had happened. So that was the beginning of me thinking maybe the people that had talked to me hadn't given me all the story. And so I started reading what Shane had to say, and I thought, I'd rather not take them at all. I started with Cardio FX because that was the one that I believe would remove the majority of the symptoms that I was having. Tank, want to go for a run? I knew we could train Tank. She understood this part of it with me. Want to go? Come on. As soon as I was home, dog never left my side from that moment on. So I get here to Washington, and I really feel that this has changed my life uh, drastically. I go out and run for two hours every other day in this city of architecture here. When I crossed the 1,000 mile mark last year, it was a big milestone. Four and a half years earlier, who would have thought that I was gonna get up off the gurney and do that? I'm gonna keep on living and I'm gonna keep on going. And I have no prescription medications now. I don't take any of them. Upon our return from Switzerland, I had to get a new cardiologist. He wouldn't even see me unless I signed up for the prescriptions that had been prescribed to me before. I told him how they made me feel. He didn't care. I had cataloged my time on the drugs and off the drugs, and I could definitively say after I was off, these symptoms would go away, and he didn't care. When was the last time you heard somebody tell you how amazing they felt on their prescription meds? I feel great. We've run 1,200 miles last year, and we feel good and continue to. I think it, it has to be the money side of it. There's a lot of money in prescription drugs. I'm logging thousands of miles of road work every year. We run through here every day. What an amazing place to run amongst these monuments. I think people's chemist philosophy to me is that you can, without fear, take this into your own hands. 
the person that's gonna save you is you. 